Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the men and women in the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. Hi there, gang. Here comes Command Performance with your weekly barrage of fun, frolic, and assorted nonsense. Well, tonight we have a little surprise for you. You guys have been writing in for various requests from your pinup girls. None of them sensible, of course. So we thought we'd give you the real lowdown on some of your favorites. Tonight we're going to take you to a girls' dormitory. Yeah, <laughs> you heard me. We're going behind the scenes of that extra fancy academy for girls, Miss Phoebe Gushmore's Finishing School. And there we will find such cuties as the Tennessee thrush Dinah Shore, lovely, luscious, Latin Lena Romai, the hilly little hillbilly Judy Canova, glamorous, amorous Marilyn Maxwell, and a newcomer to the Hollywood scene, vivacious, curvaceous Martha Stewart. Well, let's get going, men. Follow me, and we'll infiltrate up to the school through this hedge here. Now, here we are, Miss Gushmore's finishing school, and we'll just... Oh, 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 I beg your pardon. I didn't see you there. Well, why don't you watch it, bud? You almost knocked these field glasses out of my hand. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry, but who are you, anyway? Why, I'm Professor Jerry Lester. Jerry Lester, huh? Yes, I'm the professor of the school. Hey, professor, well, what are you doing out here with those field glasses? Well, uh, you got to study anatomy before you teach it. <laughs> hey, get a load of the view through these binoculars. <laughs> professor, I've got news for you. Really? You're doing a lot of peeping for nothing. All the shades are down. Well, pretty soon one of us is going to get careless, and it ain't going to be me. <laughs> well, it's just about time for Miss Gushmore to be waking the girls up. Yeah, let's listen. Maybe they're getting up now. Gable's face. Well, well, what's so beautiful about that? I didn't tell you the first part. <laughs> I had also a dream about Clark Gable, too. Oh, did you, Lena? Mm. Only I did not slap his face. <laughs> oh, you didn't? You know, sometimes I am happy I do not understand English too much. <laughs> sleep like a log. Timber! Come on, girls. Let's go. Well, well, girls. I see you're here bright and early. <clears throat> line up. Line up for calisthenics. Good morning, Professor. Why, good morning, Dinah. It's a good morning. <laughs> uh, good morning, Lena. Good morning, Professor. feel like a cow that's just been branded. Ah, <laughs> uh, good morning, Judy. Good morning, Professor. Ah, <laughs> uh, Judy, I want to talk to you later about siphoning a gas tank. <laughs> well, uh, good morning, Marilyn. Good morning, Professor. Here's your cigar. Ah, <laughs> uh, and here's our little newcomer to Hollywood, Martha Stewart. Good morning, Professor. Oh, <laughs> well, now, 
wait a minute. Don't tell me you just got to town. <laughs> well, uh, that's enough calisthenics. Uh, <laughs> you girls may now put your lipstick on. And uh, Judy Canova, will you please take your feet down off the desk? Sam, adjust my shoes. My feet are on the floor. <laughs> well, why don't you put on your shoes? What, and squash my lunch? <laughs> Sure can carry a lot of vittle in these GI shoes. You carry a mess of feet in them, too. Gosh, Judy, where did you get those GI shoes? Well, sir, I had a date with a soldier the other night, and the rest of him got away. <laughs> Say, uh, I-, I wonder if I'd send these shoes to the Army, would they refill them for me, you reckon? Now, Judy... And all you girls, remember what Miss Gushmore said. You shouldn't think about men so much. Uh, Martha Stewart, are you ready for your singing lesson? Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. For I... Very good, Martha. Very good. Stay after school. But, Professor, if I know my lesson, why do I have to stay after school? Very interesting question. <laughs> I'll answer that later in Griffith Park. Now, uh, where's Judy Canova? Where's Judy Canova? And she didn't even raise her hand. <laughs> well, all right, we'll skip her. <laughs> Marilyn Maxwell, are you ready? Yes. Now, I'm warning you, if you don't sing well, you'll have to stay after school. And if you do sing well, you'll have to stay after school. Now, what are you going to sing? Don't fence me in. (laughs) You are not. Let's have your lesson, please. Gather round me, everybody. Gather round me while I preach. Feel a sermon coming on me. The topic will be sin, and that's what I'm again. If you want to hear my story, then settle back and just sit tight. While I start reviewing the attitude of doing right. 
right You gotta accentuate the positive healing But it's a negative latch on To the affirmative Don't mess with Mr. In-Between You gotta spread joy Up to the maximum Bring gloom Down to the minimum Have faith A pandemonium Liable to walk upon the scene To illustrate My last remark Jonah in the whale Noah in the ark What did they do Just when everything looked so dark Man, I said you got an accent To eat the positive healing But it's a negative latch on To the affirmative Don't mess with Mr. In-Between To illustrate my last remark Don't know in the whale, no way in the eye What did they do Just when everything looked so dark Man, I said you got an accent To eat the positive healing And it's a negative last jump To the affirmative Don't mess with Mr. In-Between No, don't mess with Mr. In-Between Marilyn, that was wonderful. Just one day. Stay after school. <laughs> well, all right, but it's only fair to warn you. I can run like a deer. All right, dear. <laughs> oh, uh, now, Lena Ramai, you stand up. Lena, have you studied your... Oh, welcome back, Judy. Uh... <laughs> now, Lena, have you studied your lesson? Oh, yes, Professor. I do not have to stay after school. I can't understand you, Lena. You never want to stay after school with me. All you ever talk about are those South American men. <laughs> after all, what have they got that I haven't got? Well, it's hard to explain. But some of them, they accentuate the positive. And others, they eliminate the negative. Well, well what about me? Well, you're the Mr. Mess that's in between. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. It gives me a good reason for spanking you. But go ahead and sing. Okay, Professor. Brazil. The Brazil that I knew. Where I wandered. In my imagination, oh Brazil, samba que dá, bambolê o que faz tinga, oh Brazil do meu amor, terra de nosso senhor, Brazil, Brazil, para mim, Brazil, Brazil. Abre a cortina do passado Tira a mãe preta do cerrado Volta o regongo no congado Brasil, Brasil Deixa cantar de novo o trovador A merencorre a luz da lua Caminando Te lo salo Es arrastrando Oh Seu vestido Rendado Para ti Para mí Para ti Para mí Oh Tomorrow Was another day Falling through 
something I'm certain of Return I will to old Fine, Lena, fine. And naturally, you're staying after school. <laughs> Professor, answer me one question. Naturally. Why is it you always keep so many girls after school? Well, it just so happens I like to play basketball and stop asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, can I stay after school, too? Well, I don't know, Judy. Our team is all set now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to put me on the team. You can put me to any use at all. Well, I don't even care if you bounce me around the court. <laughs> I'm afraid not. What we need is one basketball, not one meatball. <laughs> oh, shucks, Professor. My shape ain't so bad. As a matter of fact, I got an hourglass figure. <clears throat> you call that an hourglass figure? Yeah, of course, it used to look a little better when the sand was in the other end. <laughs> what? Anyway, out of that bell-shaped figure must come bell-shaped tones. So how about running through your lesson? I'm on my way, Professor. Step up there and help me, sportsman. Judy, solid. Now you can stick around after school, too. <laughs> Girls, I just want to say that your music lesson was really great. You were all swell. And now, on to geography. As you recall, in yesterday's lesson, we were deep in the heart of Africa. Onward. Always onward. We leave the village of Penanan <laughs> and travel over to Gigi. <laughs> The capital of Bakadu, <laughs> which is a hundred miles south of Zita Lebel Dash Day after day, week after week, we plunge onward, and we're still in Los Angeles. <laughs> Local gag makes good. Well, we wrote the joke yesterday, I'm sorry. <laughs> As we pass a mountain lake, we hear a wild duck calling its mate. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Will you come here? <laughs> Onward. Like an army, we travel on our stomachs. 
Remind me to get my shirt half sold. <laughs> we have reached the heart of the rubber country and learned that the natives exist solely on the leaves and sap from the rubber trees. We address one of the natives. Tell us, my good fellow, do you enjoy your all-rubber diet? Oh, yes, it has quite a tang. <laughs> We say so long to the rubber man. As we make our way through the brush, something begins creeping, creeping, ever creeping. Darn my victory girdle. <laughs> Invitation? Sailor meeting a girl on Hollywood and Vine. That's all. <laughs> and now we enter a village and notice great crowds. The people are thicker than flies. I know because I measured some of them. <laughs> oh, I'm glad about that. Oh, we stop here for a moment to rest. Oh, just a moment. I think I hear someone knocking at the door. No, I guess not. <laughs> on. Always on. We enter the swamps and the mud comes up to my waist. We push on. The mud comes up to my shoulders. We push on. The mud comes up to my chin. We push on. <laughs> we push back. <laughs> Onward. And now we find we are approaching Palm Springs. <laughs> Palm Springs, a beautiful little village on the desert lying within easy reach of the upper brackets. <laughs> we stop next to a swimming pool. I forgot to stop. <laughs> the day, Sean? Man saying goodbye through a train window. Woo! Woo! Goodbye! <laughs> Now it's time for Dinah Shore to step up here with another lesson in geography. Thank you, Professor. And this really takes in a lot of territory. Countries all over the world. For example, Kid Hash Wolarski at APO339, Private First Class Tony Citarella at 226, Brother M at APO884, Al, are you saving your sugar, Temkin, at 7895, Hughes, Fatlin, D-I-M-A-W-U-E-L-E, Tadeshi, Altshul, Combs, Hammerline, and Dowdy, and the eight boys who roll seven from 339. Brothers Bootsky and Charlie from APO 565 and 248, respectively, and some Navy lads, Bob Seidman, Artie Blazer, Abe Schwartz, Joe Lowe, Mal Merger, Nick Letts, all FPO San Francisco. Those were a bunch of boys in a lot of places, but I'd like to include them all for this next tune. He's home for a little while. Oh. 
is about to fall on another command performance, and this is Donna Shore saying the best of the best from the USA, USA. And thanks to Elvia Allman as Mrs. Gushmore. Judy? This is Judy Canova sending special greetings to the gang at APO 650. Toki Koshisberger, Reed Carlson, Barrel Thalig, Lord Hanton, and Led Gamble. And this is Lena Romai. Hello, you boys who sign yourselves the homesick angels. Eddie, Smithy, Charlie, Matt, Johnny, and Al. And this is Marilyn Maxwell. Thanks to the M.M. mob of 709. Nails, Weasel, Hammerhead, Knob Knees, The Monster, Meat Nose, and Horizontal. <laughs> this is Martha Stewart sending particular love to the boys on an LST who signed themselves Homesick Jordan, Lovesick McElyay, Seasick Hollinhead, and George Cook, just plain sick. <laughs> And this is Jerry Lester saying hello and good luck to the gang on the steamship. Military secret. <laughs> well, that's all for now, fellas. See you next week. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. Thank you.